Hello, friends. Happy summer. Happy season launch. This is your VIP sneak peek into the season that launches tomorrow, July 6th, 12 noon Pacific time and every other time zone in between. So, you know, three o'clock Eastern, depending which side of the country you're in. So this is the brand new, beautiful catalog. I won't give you too many sneaks because I want to tell you all about the delicious things in here that will be available to order tomorrow, July 6th, starting at 12 noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, and every time zone in between. But before we get to this, I want to talk about what is leaving us today. So I have lots of notes because I knew I was going to forget everything. So leaving today, I see some people jumping in. Let me know if the sound is okay. I'm using this new fancy little earbud. Um, leaving today, end of the vault list tonight. Um, so things that are not coming back in this catalog, things that are being discontinued or leaving seasonally, the vault list ends tonight. Um, the barbecue bundle, these guys. I saw a lot of you trying to decide today between coleslaw and between potato salad, the barbecue chicken and rib. This barbecue bundle ends tonight, which means tomorrow, Thursday, is a new solution spotlight. Also ending tonight is flat rate shipping. Um, so $6.95 on orders $50 and old over. Orders $50 and over. So those are ending tonight. Vault list, barbecue bundle, and flat rate shipping. So if you want to take advantage of those or what you have in the spring catalog, make sure you put your orders in tonight. So I see some people are jumping in. We had a busy day today. We went to the outdoor pool at Camp Samac. We just got back from baseball. So that's why we are coming on super late tonight. But hopefully that gives you all a chance to jump in and not rushing home from work and trying to make dinner while you're trying to watch me make dinner. So this may be dinner tonight or it may be dinner for tomorrow. But I'm going to show you one of the new products. I just have some ground beef browning because you guys don't want to see me brown ground beef in a pan. I think you can manage that or you've seen me do it in the pan in the steamer a million times. But I need it for dinner that I'm making tonight. So before we jump into this, I want to give you a little bit of an update. Epic Box subscribers or those of you who are thinking about becoming Epic Box subscribers or those of you who have been Epic Box subscribers in the past, I have an update for you. So there's a new price on the Epic Box coming in August. But if you've been thinking about the Epic Box or if you've been thinking about coming back to the Epic Box, if you subscribe before July 20th or if you're already a subscriber, you are going to be grandfathered in until the end of this year. So January 1st would be your first increased payment. So if you're thinking about coming back to the Epic Box, or if you are thinking about jumping into the Epic Box for the first time, do it before July 20th, and then you'll keep the $35 price tag until the end of the year. It's only going up to $39.99 Canadian, and I have the price written down here somewhere. Sorry, $34.99 Canadian, $32 US. So up about five bucks a month. And there's no more choosing three, six or 12 month plans. Um, it's just going to roll. And then at six months, you'll get that $20 free product credit. And at 12 months, you'll get your free box for your Epic Box anniversary. The other cool thing that's coming for Epic Box is the ability to pause your subscription for two months, which means if you're starting to get a backlog of meal solutions or if you're on holidays or if something's happening in your life and you don't want your box coming, you can pause it for up to two months in a row and then it'll just restart. So no big deal, which is awesome. That way you don't have to cancel and remember, jump back in, all that. Also, if you are going to change the address or cancel your subscription, it has to be done before the 20th of the month. So that's the new things happening with the Epic Box. And um, the new gift with purchase starts tomorrow. Crispy crunchy lettuce wrap, easy peasy bowl and easy, and citrus lime no bake cheesecake. Uh, all three of those are staples in my house and I don't know which one I'm gonna choose. So orders over $60 with this new catalog tomorrow and we'll run to the end of July. You get uh, Choose a free crispy crunchy lettuce wrap, easy peasy bolognese or citrus lime cheesecake. So let's get to why you're really here. This beautiful catalog. Also, if you ask for a catalog, I popped them in the mail today. I think there were about five. 
If you want a catalog, I still have some more. I can pop them in the mail for you tomorrow if you'd rather browse the beautiful pictures. Look how pretty these are um, of this catalog. If you'd rather flip through the real version, if not, the digital link will pop up um, after this video. So let's talk about new meal solutions, new tasty treats, new goodies, all the things. Let's start with the dinner. So I've just got a pound of ground beef here. I'm guessing because nobody told me the sound was wonky. You guys can hear me okay. So I've got a pound of ground beef browned. I'm going to put in two cups of warm water. And this is the July host exclusive. These three nesting bowls that I'm going to use tonight. So I wanted to show you guys those ones. And they are the perfect size. Oh, I was, was that the water? That's okay. I was supposed to put the water in with the seasoning pack. It's okay. It'll all work out. So the first item up for bid, the first item in the catalog is cheeseburger pasta. This is the one I showed you guys. Um, that beautiful people were thinking it was taco mac and cheese. People were thinking it was um, what else were you guys thinking? Taco mac and cheese. Somebody said hamburger helper. Let's see how this goes here, guys. This is what happens. I have too many notes. So what you're supposed to do is add ketchup and then the seasoning and then the fusilli, but that's okay. We'll just add it all in and Epicure never fails me even when I screw up. So two tablespoons of ketchup, we'll call that two. If you don't wanna add the ketchup, you could add in a tomato sauce or a tomato paste. Okay, and then we're adding two cups of gluten-free fusilli, whatever bite-sized pasta you'd like or fusilli. So let's read the proper instructions, you guys. Whisk together seasoning with two cups of hot water. That's a step I missed. Uh, in a saute pan, cook one pound of ground beef over medium heat, breaking up the beef, which I did. Add two tablespoons of ketchup, add in reserve seasoning mixture. See, we're on track, it's fine. Uh, stir in two cups of fusilli or bite-sized pasta, bring to a boil, cover and simmer 15 to 17 minutes. See, it's fine. It'll just have to reheat, rehydrate the onions and things in here as it hangs out. It'll be all good. So the nesting bowls that I was going to show you as I walk, as I work through these steps are these. This is the host special or the share and earn special for July. So they nest together. They're hard, plastic, resistant to shatters and chips, dishwasher safe, all the things. Okay, let's turn this down to a simmer and follow directions here for a minute. It said simmer and put the lid on, right? See you guys, anybody can do this. Burn stuff, throw stuff, don't follow instructions, carry on. 15 to 17 minutes. Let's put a timer on so that I don't get distracted. Let's do 15 because gluten-free pasta is weird. Okay, so let's talk about cheeseburger pasta. One pot, as you saw. You could top it with your favorite burger toppings. It says on here, top with diced tomato, shredded lettuce, and pickles if desired. I think we might serve ours with a salad. It's a vegan blend, so you can use lentils or ground round to make this if you didn't want to use the beef. Use ground chicken, ground pork, ground whatever you want. 20 minute lasagna. So if you loved speedy lasagna, there's a recipe now using this guy, cheeseburger pasta, to make a lasagna. You can do it in the microwave in 20 minutes. So the first meal solution on our new catalog is cheeseburger pasta. Let me know what you guys think of that one. The next one I want to tell you about, if you were a Hollandaise fan, this is Bernays sauce. A creamy, buttery tarragon, topper for steak, topper for shrimp, paired with grilled meats, eggs, green beans, broccoli, spinach. Toss it with noodles to make a tuna casserole or a salmon casserole. Same as a Hollandaise, add butter and water. Whisk it in the microwave, done. Bernays sauce. So it's like hollandaise with the tarragon added. This next one is, I think, one of my favorites, although it's the only one I've tried so far, is chicken barbacoa. So if you love the Epicure enchilada, you are going to love chicken barbacoa. If you love pulled chicken or pulled shredded beef, you are going to love chicken barbacoa. 
This one I did, so it says chicken, but you don't have to use chicken. I didn't use chicken. This one I did with just like a, I don't know, chuck roast or round roast, I round roast. It's a slow cooker or a pressure cooker recipe. Um, three to four pounds of meat with some water, oil, and tomato paste. That's it. Throw it in the slow cooker, throw it in the pressure cooker. Six hours on low, three hours on high. Shred it, serve it on tacos, serve it on nachos. So it's got a warm, warming spice, smoky tomato, oregano, cumin, garlic, fire roasted onion with a mild heat. Um, you can make it meatless if you use canned beans or lentils, eggplant, jackfruit. So many delicious options for chicken barbacoa. Up your Taco Tuesday. It's like Epicure enchilada, but without that cinnamon flavor to it. So I know we have lots of Epicure enchilada fans. Chicken barbacoa is one that you'll love. I actually froze a bunch of it because we couldn't get through three pounds um, within a few days. So uh, to have alongside your chicken barbacoa is another Taco Tuesday fan, Spanish rice. So Spanish rice, one package makes 12 servings. Um, it's like rice pilaf with sweet vibes. Rice, water, oil, tomato paste. That's it. Stock up on tomato paste and you'll be good to go for this um, catalog. That's like three things that we talked about tomato paste. Spanish rice, chicken barbacoa. You can add tomato paste to our um, pasta here. Just want to make sure that's still doing something. Okay, guys, we still have one more meal solution to go. If you were an Epic Box subscriber, you may have already tried the lemon garlic chicken. Do a whole roasted chicken, do chicken breast, do chicken skewers, make it into an aioli. All the things. Where are my notes for chicken? Lemon chicken. So it was based on, our recipe developers based it on the 40 cloves of garlic recipe that you may see floating around the internet. Um, rosemary, sage, thyme, lemon, all in the blend. So you don't have to add lemon to it. Coat your chicken, steam it for 20 minutes for a full chicken. Great for seafood. Cover all the things in lemon, garlic, chicken. So those are our, how many do we have here? Five new meal solutions that are launching tomorrow. Cheeseburger pasta that we're making for dinner tonight. Bernays, Spanish rice. I'm trying to read backwards. Chicken barbacoa and lemon garlic chicken. One new dessert, which you may already be familiar with because it was in the sweet celebration bundle last week, is this happy birthday cake. And holy moly, is this so good. I think we've already talked about this. It was two years in the making. It's just a basic cake. If you want the funfetti, you can add it in the sprinkles. I'm gonna make a coffee cake. There's gonna be a coffee cake recipe launching tomorrow on epicure.com to use this. I've seen people making peach upside down cakes, apple upside down cakes. It is just a basic white cake and it is so yummy. Cane sugar, rice flour, corn starch, tapioca starch, baking powder and sea salt. That's it. Add eggs, oil, milk and vanilla extract. It's so easy. So those are all of our new sachets, but there's more. So much more. Okay, I need a drink, so let's talk about this guy. A new tea. You guys know how I love my Epicure Herbal Teas. This one has apple, sorry, organic apple, organic rose hips, sweet blackberry leaf, citric acid, sweet orange flower, natural flavors, organic licorice root, elderflower, to make an elderflower cordial herbal tea. Guys, it's so sweet. It's not so sweet, but it's sweet, floral. You can cold brew it, have it with soda or Prosecco. I literally dropped this tea bag. I don't know if you can see the colors. I literally dropped this tea bag in a cup of water and ice before I started the video. And that's it, I'm just gonna drink it like that because it's that yummy. I brewed a whole pitcher of it the other day. And by brewed, I mean I threw three tea bags in this guy, let it sit in the fridge overnight, and we drank the heck out of it. If you're looking to up your water intake, the herbal teas are so yum. Okay, so we talked about that one. I gotta keep myself on track here. Two new jars, 
two returning jars in the catalog and two returning jars while supplies last. So let's talk about our two new jars first. Carne asada. Cumin, chipotle, citrus for tacos, salads, steak sandwich. This one is a medium to high heat, unlike the chicken barbacoa, which was an easier heat, a lower heat. Mushrooms, lentils, salsa. Mix it with butter for corn or add it to black bean soup. Carne asada. The package, the instructions on the jar, one and a half to two pounds of flank steak marinade with three tablespoons of orange juice, two tablespoons of mix and lime juice, and one tablespoon of oil. Pour over steak, seal, and refrigerate overnight. Remove from marinade, grill, let rest. Carne asada, a little bit spicier. Oh, Kathy, that water jug is the host exclusive for June. It's ending tonight. I know it's beautiful, right? Um, next jar. Okay. Actually, let me talk about this one first. This is not a new product. Where are my sesame ginger fans? Sesame ginger is coming back. It's not in the catalog. It'll be available to order starting tomorrow while supplies last. So they still have some um, supply of sesame ginger in the warehouse, but it's not going to last the whole season. So they didn't put it in the catalog. So sesame ginger, if you want it, it's going to be on the website. You won't find it in the catalog. But what you will find in the catalog is its older brother or glow up version, sesame noodle salad. Now this, I opened it, it is gingery. It is more of a creamy version, I think, is going to be. Two tablespoons of dressing mix with one and a half tablespoon apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of water, whisk in mustard. You could also add mayo. You could also add honey if you didn't want to add mustard. I might try with the um, honey mustard because it's going to be that good. I'm super excited for this one and I have notes on it somewhere. Here we are. Sesame ginger garlic with turmeric. So functional food, turmeric being an anti-inflammatory, a creamy dressing. It's dairy-free, nut-free, and soy-free, the blend. Make it however you want. Top leafy greens, noodle salad, orzo pasta salad. Top all the salads this summer with sesame noodle salad. Dressing mix. We talked about carne asada. See if I don't put them to slide, I forget. Okay. Two returning favorites from last summer are Cuban mojo and my favorite maple miso. So these guys, Cuban mojo is garlic, citrus, oregano, and is delicious on pork chicken or mushrooms. Again, this is a marinade with orange juice. So stock up on orange juice to make all the marinades, carne asada and Cuban mojo. Maple miso is good on everything. I may put it on uh, roasted chickpeas. It's great on chicken. It's got maple, chili, chives, garlic. It has that sweet umami flavor for chicken. You make it into a salad dressing. Like I said, I put it on roasted chickpeas and just snack on it. It's delicious and it has huge chunks. I don't know if you can see it here of the miso. And the other one that is returning, um, but not in the catalog, but it will be on the website is ancho lime. This is a delicious for fish. It's also amazing on chicken wings. I don't think I have any notes on it because I just saw that it's coming back. Corn on the cob. Oh, yeah. Food for corn on the cob. Potatoes, tofu, Chester, stop. Um, stop. Yeah. Uses the wet rub, uses the dry rub. Chester's barking at me. I don't know what his problem is. Anywho, so. so that's everything that's coming tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, like I said, is a Thursday, which means that. The Backyard Barbecue Bundle ends tonight and something new launches tomorrow. So because it's a new catalog also launching tomorrow, the solution spotlight for the week is going to be the taste of the season. So the taste of the season, which are calling a taste of summer, is going to have eight of these brand new products. It is going to have, and I just watched Amelia's video, 
when we got back from baseball. So it's going to have chicken barbacoa, Bernays sauce, cheeseburger pasta, lemon garlic chicken, Spanish rice, carne asada, sesame noodle salad, and the happy birthday cake, all for 45 Canadian, 41 US, which is down from the regular 50 Canadian and 46 US. So if you want to try all the new things, Taste of Summer is the bundle you want to get tomorrow. Whew. What are you guys excited about? I'm excited about this dinner that's just about ready. Whoo! That was so easy, guys. So this is just going to hang out until the pasta is um, tender, which I think it's getting close to. And then that's dinner. While I was talking and ignoring it, it's pretty much finished. So move over hamburger helper, move over one pot pasta, which isn't in the catalog anymore. We have cheeseburger pasta. How easy is that? So I'd love to hear what you guys are most excited about. Remember, if you want to jump into the Epic Box and keep the low price until the end of the month, <coughs> Kathy, Kathy Bryce, go out and get $250 of orders tonight from your friends. We'll have a qualified cooking class and you can get that jug. But it has to be done tonight because it closes. The new nesting bowls start tomorrow. And then uh, if you want to book a party for August or get a referral link from August, this awesome meat thermometer is coming back, I think, with Montreal steak. But it's about this meat thermometer, really, which I got last summer. And it's magnetic. So I just stick it to the top. So tomorrow, catalog launches July 6th, 12 noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time, which I think everybody watching <laughs> is Eastern right now. Let me know if you're catching the replay. I'd love to know what you're thinking about. Oh, one more thing about the Epic Box that I just found out about. Shh. You want to subscribe. Meet Thermometer August. You want to subscribe to the Epic Box. Who loves Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I got a golden ticket. Golden tickets are going to be in distributed amongst surprise August Epic Boxes for a trip to Vegas including airfare. If you don't have an Epic Box and you want to go to Vegas and <laughs> you need to subscribe before July 20th to grandfather yourself into the lower price until the end of the year and have the chance of winning a trip to Vegas. Airfare, everything included. If you open your box and there's a golden ticket in it. So who's excited for the catalog? Who's excited for Epic Boxes? Who's excited for dinner tonight? Me? Let me know your wish list. I'm so excited to see what you're excited about. If you want a paper catalog, let me know. Otherwise, the digital link should pop up in this group in about five to seven minutes. Thanks everybody for tuning in and to those replay warriors. Hey, we'll see you all soon. Happy season launch.